Next, we're going to talk about lower body mechanics, and we're going to break this down into two different sections here. The first section is just about your step and your load, so that's, that's point number one. Point number two is getting a little bit more specific and expanding on the idea of your hips leading the swing. So first of all, let's start with your step and with your load here. And most hitters are right-handed hitters. I was a switch hitter, so I'm comfortable doing this either way, but I'll, I'll do most of it. I'll try and do most of it right-handed. But when we talk about when we talk about your step and your load, we want the step to be about six to eight inches. Anything less than that, uh, it's not ideal. Anything longer than that, you know, it, you can get into some problems. So rule of thumb, six to eight inches. Uh, we don't want to step too, too early because that throws off your rhythm and your athleticism. And the most important thing is, is to be an athlete in the batter's box. So we don't want to step too early. But the bigger thing is don't step too late. You obviously can't start your swing until your front foot's down, right? You don't see any hitters swinging like this. Okay, every single person on this earth knows that you can't start your swing until the front foot gets down. That means if the front foot gets down too late, we're going to be late starting. So make sure that that front foot gets down early, and or we'll say on time. If you're going to err, definitely err on the side of getting that front foot down too early rather than too late. As far as your stance, I don't really care what stance you go with. I recommend nothing too crazy. Typically, you don't want to be the, the first guy in, in history to try and make it to the major leagues with a certain stance. You know, if nobody's ever made it that way, you probably don't want to be the first. Take a guy like a Tony Batista, who used to play a few years ago. Pretty wild stance. I would avoid something that's totally crazy and out there. But anyways, as far as your stance, I don't really care too much. Just stay away from anything too, too far out there. When we load, what the load should look like and I talk about the load and the, the stride together because they happen almost simultaneously. So when we load, that means that the hands are coming back. And as the hands come back, the front foot goes forward. A great hitter in the 1980s and 90s was George Brett. He used to say, walk away from the hands. Like this front foot is walking away from the hands. That's one way to put it. Just a really simple way though is that as you step, hands go up and they go back. You don't want the hands to come down in here. A lot of young hitters, when they step, the hands settle down, and then that puts them uh, underneath the ball. So I teach guys, act like they're taking the elbow, up and back. So it's up and back as you step. How open should the front foot be? We're not going to talk about that. You know, it's not, it's not really a huge deal. Um, try to step square, maybe a little bit closed. I don't like guys to step open in general. When you start off, weight should be in the middle. Keep the weight on the inside part of this back knee and on the inside part of your back foot. So the weight's in the middle as I step. The weight transfers to the inside part just a little bit. We load a little bit towards that inner uh, thigh here. Don't load past the thigh. That puts you back here. It's gonna make you uh, want to sit and spin on the ball. So start with the weight in the middle. I like 50-50. When you load then, go to about 60% back, and we load to the, the inside part. So it's step, and we load. So my weight right here is just slightly inside of this, this back knee, uh, about 60% 60, 60 to 40%. And remember, the hands should go up and back. Then the next move is the hips are going to lead the swing. That means that my hands stay back, and once I take my step, my front heel is going to drop, which we'll talk about more in the next section, and the hips open up and start to lead the swing while the hands stay back. You should feel like your hands are getting pulled through, at least at the beginning, your hands should feel like they're, they're getting pulled by the hips, or at least triggered by the hips. We don't want the, the hands to drag behind, so I, I hesitate to say have your hips pull your hands, but they should at least trigger the hands. So. Again, this first part of the legs, talking about your step and your load, and the hips leading the swing. Remember, weight in the middle, transfer to 60-40, hands should go up and back as you step. Keep that step about 6 to 8 inches.